PPL Corporation, the owner of Pennsylvania's second largest utility, beat fourth quarter earnings per share estimates today. The company also reported that 20 percent of its customers have shopped for an alternate energy electricity provider, I should say. CEO James Miller joined us now from the firm's Allentown, Pennsylvania headquarters with more on the earnings report. Uh, Jim, welcome. Thanks for joining us here on Bloomberg News. And, um, Thank you, Julie. First of all, good earnings report. You beat estimates. Talk to us about the main drivers here, because even though you beat estimates, still it's been a, a tough couple of years, and, and you've seen um, rates uh, compressed. Yes, it has been a tough couple of years for our sector, Julie. Uh, given the recession, given the financial collapse, we all uh, suffered as a result of that in our sector. But we had a very strong year in 2009. Key drivers, we acted early in 2009 on some pretty severe cost reduction. We also uh, had great performance out of our generating units across the country. And I think at the same time, we took some steps that uh, allowed us to deal with the very large demand destruction that we saw in the very mild summer that we had. So we were able to implement some, some uh, ideas that protected us against that uh, demand destruction that we saw. I have to ask you about what you talked about on your conference call, and that is what I just alluded to. A lot of people shopping around for alternative uh, providers. There was the figure I mentioned of 20 percent, almost 290,000 customers selecting alternative providers. You say it's not going to be material, but when might it become material to your bottom line? Well, Julie, it, it's not material because Pennsylvania is a deregulated state and uh, basically our responsibility on one side of our business, the regulated business, is to deliver electricity. Uh, the electricity that it uh, buys to serve those that don't shop there is no margin or profit on that electricity. So depending on how many people shop, that really does not hurt our regulated wires business. It works as deregulation was designed, that the competition is out there for suppliers, and our wires business only acts as a default supplier at no profit. So uh, shopping is good for competition. Uh, we don't lose as a regulated wires business. On the other side, our unregulated wholesale business, we sell into a very large wholesale market in the middle Atlantic states and in New England. So uh, that's where we make our money from generation. Well, and are you picking up business on that side? Yes, we are, but we pick it up in the area of large commercial and industrial. We do not uh, go into the residential market for uh, sales of electricity. We really sell strictly to the larger volume wholesale players, uh, large commercial and industrial. And that's where we're picking up uh, a number of customers as we move forward in the uh, deregulated market. Mr. Miller, as Julie just mentioned, about 20% of customers have shopped for electricity. This is because of Pennsylvania's electric choice law. How has that law changed the landscape? Well, I think uh, it's changed the landscape in the sense that uh, it provides customers uh, options, uh, whereas before in a, in a fully regulated status, they had no options. So they had to buy from the local utility. Uh, we have some almost 20 suppliers entering this competitive market, uh, which a customer can uh, have a wide variety of choices of length of deals and prices that they can choose to buy purely their energy. Our delivery business still delivers that energy, but we also bill them for whichever supplier they chose and at right. the price they chose. James, James Miller, CEO of PPL Corporation, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it.